Do you find that you have great insights and expertise, but your voice does not project that? Your voice makes you sound small, a lack of authority. People either don't see you as the expert in your field, or it will take some time for them to realize, oh, you are the expert. Hi, this is Cynthia, your voice coach. The problem that your voice does not match your expertise happens to a lot of my clients. In this video, you will learn the two most important qualities for an authoritative voice. The first one, depth. Many of my clients said, Cynthia, I want to have a deep voice because a deep voice projects more authority. That's true. Many researchers have shown that people tend to relate a deep voice with authority, credibility, trustworthiness, and better leadership. A research done by Duke University and University of California show that a decrease of 25% in voice pitch relates to an increase of $187 thousand dollars in annual salary. Wow! Moreover, CEOs with deeper voices also enjoys longer tenures. Don't forget, the Iron Lady, Margaret Thatcher, also went through voice training to drop her squeaky voice to a deeper voice in order to project more authority as a female leader. No wonder so many people want to develop a deep voice. The most common mistake made by my clients before they had met me was to purposely lower their voice. This is not only the wrong way to getting a deep voice, but also damaging to your vocal cords. The right way is to develop a full voice, a voice that is projected with your full body. When your voice is full, it'll go deeper by itself. For ladies, if your voice is soft, a full voice will also help you build up the strength in your voice and makes you get heard clearly. I talked about the three steps for your full voice in the previous video. Check it out. Or you can sign up on my website for the three-part free video voice lessons. In those three lessons, I'll take you step by step for your full voice. The second quality, clarity. For many of my clients who have clarity issues, this is how they speak. They don't open their mouth much, as if they're talking to themselves or they're tired. This is such a common problem in my clients, but they didn't realize it. They knew people often ask them to repeat themselves, and they thought, their voice is too soft. But the problem is not a soft voice. They didn't realize it until I asked them to do one thing, and you're going to try it. That is, to speak into the mirror. And notice how much movement in this area. If you don't have much movement, you may have the mumbling issue. To solve that, Two steps to help you. The first step, activate the facial muscles. If you are mumbling, you don't move the muscles here much. So I'm going to teach you three simple exercises to help you activate it. The first one, we're going to make the sound E. When you make the sound E, your lips go this way. So E. The second one is move forward. Ooh, ooh. Third one, open your mouth and also unlock your jaw. Ah, ah. Okay, so we're going to combine them together in this way. E, ooh, ah. When you do it sometimes, if you are doing it in the train or on the bus, don't make sound. So you can do something like this. So this is to activate your muscles. So when you speak, they are going to open a bit more. The second step, we're going to train your muscles here 
to make them open more when you speak. To do this exercise, we're going to need a prop. So I'm going to use my lip gloss as a prop. So this is what you're going to do. Put this lip gloss in between your teeth and then say anything coming to your mind. So for example, if I do this, for people who have clarity issues, it's because they don't move their muscles much. Okay, looks very interesting and very funny. But this is to really help you move the muscles more. And this exercise is not how you are going to speak on a daily basis. You are going to do this exercise at home. Many of my clients said, hmm, I find that people with a deep and clear voice have advantages. Even when they talk rubbish, people will still listen. Well, I certainly don't support that you talk nonsense. But you don't want your talent, your insight, and your expertise to be undermined because of your voice. Work on your voice and let it reflect who you are. If you find this video may help some of your friends who are suffering from the voice problems, share this video with them. If you haven't signed up for our three-part free voice video lessons, visit my website and you'll find the sign-up form on my website. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss a single lesson. If you have any questions on voice and presentations, leave it in the comment, and I'll try my best to answer it in the future videos. Until next time, this is Cynthia, your voice coach.